Hi, I'm Galileo. In the 1600s, we invented the thermometer, barometer, the telescope, the microscope. Pretty good. But let's discuss a more interesting century. This century. When your usual cigarette loses its charm, smoke a century. You've also spoken about a book you were writing and the idea of, for, for instance, Galileo's list or the list back in uh, King Henry VIII's time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could, you, could you elaborate on this book you're writing? Well, uh, sure. Um, one of the things that we have done, Ron and I, is to use mindset list methodology to see what kind of results we get if we go back to the age of Shakespeare. Uh, and um, were there certain uh, cultural ideas, certain cultural information that somebody like Shakespeare grew up with that might very well have later on influenced him? And uh, we discovered some really quite interesting things. For example, uh, when Shakespeare was growing up, there were certain cities in Europe that absolutely outlawed kissing, that would actually make kissing, not, not kissing the ring of the Pope, but, but kissing each other on the lips, uh, almost, in fact, a sort of capital offense. Uh, these, of course, were certain cities, such as uh, Naples, for instance, that were uh, full of rigid, religious extremists. And uh, Shakespeare, interestingly enough, absorbed uh, this kind of religious extremism, and he even wrote a play uh, in which, in fact, uh, out of wedlock uh, sex was a hanging offense. This was a play called Measure for Measure. And uh, one, uh, in fact, often wonders uh, whether or not Shakespeare growing up and hearing about these extreme prohibitions of erotic behavior uh, when he was a teenager might not, in fact, have absorbed this information and written a play called Measure for Measure in which there is a character named Angelo in the fictional city of Vienna who actually is going to string a man up or chop his head off because he's had sex out of wedlock. So, uh, you know, these uh, sorts of factoids are uh, often, in fact, uh, factoids that go back much further than you might think. Again, this is sort of the more things change, the more they remain the same.